All right, guys, we are continuing our pet battle starting from scratch series. We have beat the first two tamers on the Eastern Kingdoms, and now we're heading to our third, which is Anna Lynn. And like I said, I'm switching to my brother's account, and this is where he is at. Um, and we will follow this actual quest line from scratch the rest of the way all the way up through pandaria through every single section of pet taming so at any point if you get lost you can come to these videos now the team that we decided we were going to level up is this one right here where we got the mechanical pandaren dragon link chrominius and the anubis sath idol now as you can see up in the top right hand corner of my screen sign of the critter where pet battles grants a bonus 200 percent increased experience now this guide will be a little wonky in that my pets are going to be leveling up significantly faster during this event because of it but i didn't do that by accident um you know starting from scratch i recommend picking a week where you have bonus pet battle experience when i got into pet battles about i don't know probably nine or ten months ago um it was during a bonus event where I thought, you know, I've done a couple of quests, but not a ton. Um, actually, Anna Lynn was the part that I was stuck on. Uh, I had done the first two tamers and was like, okay, you know, this is a little too complicated. I'll just come back to this later. But with the bonus experience going on, I figured it was as good a time as any to get back into it. And yeah, so that's, that's how I got into pet battles once again. And Really, I'm grateful I did because it's a very, very enjoyable pastime for me. It's a great way to level up alts, and I think it's super fun. Also, you can make a ridiculous amount of gold from it. Um, I'm not in it for the gold-making game. I used to have a lot. Uh, I'm significantly poorer than I used to be. I was sitting on about 350,000 gold, um, which I know is more than some people, but absolutely a pittance compared to other gamers so yeah everybody's different anyway so we're coming up on Anna Lynn here now Anna Lynn um the reason she was kind of a speed bump for me was because the last pet tamer all of his pets are level three and Anna Lynn's are all level five and I just came straight here from fighting her and you know my pets were not that great and I didn't have rare pets I was leveling up I was just kind of uh going with whatever pets looked cool i had a rocket bot um just a couple from old raids stuff like that okay so you know here we're gonna restart this fight i've mentioned this in the previous video but the awesome thing about when you're fighting here i'm gonna save save that team yep the anubis south idol is just the best pet and he's often my favorite to start with so the reason i switched to him first is he's got sandstorm which is a flying type move which will do a good little chunk of damage to this fellow here boom not a ton um you know he does have a level advantage on me and he's got shell shield up so i will not be hitting for a lot i wonder if i'll be able to hit enough okay wow this could take literally forever to kill this guy Hmm. But here's the incredible thing about the new Sath Idol is he's just so stinking tanky. Like he healed for 25 and I healed for 14. He's got to heal up. That's just my racial that's healing me. Okay. So how much are we gonna hit for? About 90 something. 96. Okay. We're getting him down. Eventually. Boom. All right, I think one more and I should kill him. Oh, so close. Crush has the chance to either hit on the low side or the high side. And there goes that 90% hit chance. Oh, come on. Stop dragging this out already. Oh! One health, that's great. Okay. The stinker. Hmm. I'm gonna throw out Sandstorm. Oof. Absorb. That hurts. 
And then I'm going to switch into my Chrominius. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do a Bite, Howl, and then uh, Ravage. Gratefully, snails at this level do not have dive yet. Boom. I hit for a lot. And now my Chrominius heals up for a decent little chunk. And I'm just left with this guy. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stay in on Chrominius um, until he gets low. And then I'm going to switch into my mechanical Pandaren Dragon. Thing. <sighs> Ouch, that hurt. Okay, that's low enough. Uh, we're going to switch actually into the Anubisath Idol. I am going to block his mothballs. What the? I didn't, I didn't think that would count as two turns. Obviously it did. I'm silly. Okay. How hard is this going to hit me? Ends up going to put me to sleep. Nope, he's going mothballs again. Okay. Boom. Oh, hallelujah. Um. Let's see. Cocoon strike. Um, I'm going to do this little bad boy here to see if he hit, tries to get his with moth dust. Okay. Now I'm just going to spam Crush one more time. And he's probably going to go Cocoon Strike this round. Yep. Okay. He has a chance that he could very well kill me this round. Oh, oh yep, he killed me. Poop. Okay. Dang, he is quick. Alright, well. Mechanical Pandaren Dragonling got a giant boost up to level 6. Okay, defeat, defeat Zonya. Okay, we're coming over towards you, Zonya. So I just stopped and fought a maggot and captured it. It was just one maggot. And my new Sath Idol got an entire level from it. He got uh, 195 experience. So yeah, this event is going to make leveling these guys up in this whole journey, 1 through 25, so much easier. And, you know, you're probably going to have to stop a couple, like do a couple battles along the way um, other than just the tamers. But really, the Tamers are going to be providing a really significant source of experience. So, that's awesome. And now each of these guys has a full move set. I mean, the Mechanical Pandaren Dragon has got Explode. So, maybe that's not quite as good as I would have liked. Because that means until level 20, I'm not going to have an ability, uh, at least while I'm leveling him that's particularly useful okay all right Zonia let's fight so I know that she's got two beast type pets and then a critter type but I'm just gonna throw down sandstorm and um, I'm gonna switch into my mechanical pender and dragon lane Out. Right. Does he have something to? Yeah, he does have something to reduce my speed. Oof. And he crit with it. That's great. Oh. Okay. Here's the great thing about mechanicals is I, I like having them kind of take the brunt of the damage. Now, if this comes down, it doesn't kill him. Okay, 89, yeah, okay. I don't want this guy to die, actually. 
So here, I'll just do Ravage. Oh god, that hit for a lot. 91. Oh, this is going to do a ton of damage to this little stinker. That was nice. Okay. Now, I'm going to do another Ravage. Oof. I forgot how annoying stench can be. Oh, but I still was able to hit. Okay. Alright, let's see how you do, buddy. Hit again through it. That's awesome. Um, No howl. I'm just going to do bite. And I miss. That's great. Okay, I think I'm going to go for one more bite. And then I'm going to switch out. Oh my goodness, this is 20... Okay, so if it's... Is that only doing 20? Please tell me it's only doing 20. Yep, only doing 20. So if I switch him out right now, he will not die. Okay. So I'm going to throw down this bad boy here. And I know I've got a, a disadvantage against him. But I'm just hoping that I'm able to kind of out-tank him. We'll see. Ooh. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay. Oh, maybe it's not as wonderful as I was hoping. I thought Sandstorm would totally negate his little s swarm spiderling here. Man, this is getting kind of hairy for me. Please just kill him. Please kill him. Oh, kill him. I survived the dot. And everybody gets experience. Okay, this is wonderful. Yeah, doing this during the event is definitely the way to go through this. Okay. So, who's the next guy? We got Murda Stonehuff. Alright, Murda, we're coming for you. I wonder what level she is. Let's look up Stonehuff. Nope. Murda then. Oh, strong huff. Sorry. I was homeschooled, so that's my defense. All right, her pets are level nines. And she's got aquatic, elemental with one elemental attack, and a critter type with an undead attack. Okay. So I think I'm going to use the Anubis Sapphidal versus this guy right here. Because he already has a pretty strong bonus versus the Swarm of Flies. He's got the hard-hitting uh, Sandstorm. Then for this guy right here, this is where I will use my uh, Chrominius versus him. And then versus this little fella, I'll use the Mechanical Pandaren Dragonling. Or Chrominius, depending on how well he does. You know, this team is working out well. Uh, last night it occurred to me that a better pet than the Mechanical Pandaren and Dragon Lee might have been um, the Dark Moon Zeppelin. But I didn't have an extra Dark Moon Zeppelin and I didn't want to farm it. And I wanted these guys here to be basically like you don't have to spend a lot of money to get them kind of a deal. Okay. So I'm opening it up with Sandstorm. He does have a two level advantage on me, but since we are uh, the rare type of pets um, and I do have a move that's strong versus him, I really think this fight should be fairly easy for me. Okay. Yeah, his dot is doing as much damage as my heal is, so they're like totally canceling each other out. Alright, I forgot this guy does have Leech Life, which does a lot of damage. You know, I'm going to do one more Crush, a Sandstorm. Oh, that hurt. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting rid of that right now, because I do not want him getting additional healing. Um, Good against Mechanical. Okay, we're switching into old Chromineus here. Oh, 
And look at this. Even though he is a level higher than Crominius, because I am rare type and I have better stats, that's why I'm able to go first, is because I actually outspeed him. Even though he has a level advantage on me, and Crominius is slow as you can get. Man, he's a tough little bugger. Uh, should I do a Howl Ravage? Or should I just keep doing Bite until he's low enough? Oof, that hurt. Okay. Now I'm going to do Ravage because I got my Racial active. I get a really strong heal. He goes into this little critter right here. Boom. That's a big old Bite. Okay. I'm going to just do a Bite. I bought, brought him below 50% health. I'm going to do one more. I don't think it'll kill him. Good. Now I'm going to switch into the Mechanical Pandaren Dragon Lean. I could have finished that fight there just using Crominius, but I want my Mechanical Pandaren Dragon Lean or my MPD to get experience. Um, if he didn't got brought into the battle, he wouldn't have gotten any. So each of them level up from that. We got level 9, level 9, and level 8. Okay. Now, let's see. We got... Cassandra, okay. Now, Cassandra, I'm pretty sure all of her pets are level 11s, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they are all level 11s. So, on the way there, when I'm in the Barrens here, I think I'm going to fight a handful of pets before I fight Cassandra, just to get my guys up to at least level 10. So, that was those two tamers. Okay, that'll be this next segment.